Hey everyone, I'm Jason Foster, he's Ryan Fagan, and this is Opening Day, the show where we open boxes of baseball cards and give the good ones to you for free. Today we're opening a box of 1981 Donruss cards. This set is notable for being the company's first foray into baseball cards, and it also features a ton of future Hall of Famers, along with a number of weird printing and cutting errors. All right, let's do it. I'm very excited about this. I don't think I've ever opened a pack of Donruss that has bubblegum in it, so we will see. And of course the gum sticks. Now that is wider. Look at what it's doing to your fingers. Oh my gosh, look at you could, oh my gosh, look at that card. I'm not eating this. You know, I mentioned before we started, I bought several packs of 81 Donruss in like 1989. Clint Hurdle. And they had that kind of residue on them then. So, see, there's a nice looking Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski, and look at that. The, wow, I'm very excited about that. Ken Griffey. We'll put that there. We're going to put away the cards that you get um, if you win. Cesar Cedeno. Lily Wilson. <laughs> Rolling off is one of the best names ever for a baseball player. Paul Molitor. So young. Now this set was Donruss's first uh, baseball card set. And... There's not really any super standout cards, but there are a lot of Hall of Famers in here. That's a pretty good first pack. I yeah, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of Hall of Famers, a lot of All Stars, and I've always thought it's a nice looking card. The design, when it's centered pretty well, is really nice. Although, as you'll probably see, a lot of them were not centered very well. Although these first couple packs have been very nice, but Donruss '81 was kind of known for its weird centering and cutting errors, and also some weird printing errors. Hopefully, we'll find some of those. Cherry Remy. Greg Luzinski, Mike Jorgensen, Jeffrey Leonard before the one flap down years with the the Giants. Yeah, just based on what the gum is doing to Ryan's fingers, I would not want it inside my body. Yeah, I'm afraid that I might need to stop opening halfway through. Chuck Tanner. Gross. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm really impressed with these first few packs in terms of the, the quality of the centering. Also love these throwback uniforms on some of the players. The throwback uniforms that weren't throwbacks? Yeah. Stan Poppy. When I mentioned that there were some weird printing errors, I remember a lot of cards, maybe not a lot, but a, a noteworthy amount from this set that had the wrong team listed, like... I remember a Daryl Porter where he was pictured with the Royals and the card set Cardinals. And there were others like that, so if we see one, we will point them out. Nice Eddie Murray. Yeah. Joe Sharp. Oh my gosh. This might be the favorite card that we've opened so far. <laughs> Super Joe Charbonneau. Johnny Bench. Dave Chalk, great name. Bobby Bonds with the Cardinals. I'll put that aside. Seriously, the gums, like, like I'm not sad. Oops. I'm not, ex oops. I'm not exaggerating. Look at that, it just rips the card right off. That's less than ideal. I mean, we shouldn't be surprised. It's, they've been stacked up against each other for, what, 39 years? I almost feel kind of bad. I mean, this, these cards were made in 1981. They've lasted in their packs for almost four decades when we're opening them now. But As far as these cards are concerned, Jimmy Carter is still president. Yes, Ed Whitson. There's a kind of a, a pretty bad centering. You can even see the mark there where it was yeah. supposed to be cut. Cecil Cooper. Mario Seven. 
Steve Carlton. Nice. At least pops. I like his hat. The star. <laughs> it's a good back to back. Randy Jones. We'll leave the, the gum on here for some of them so you can have the. If you win, you can have the fun of trying to pull the gum, gum off. Buddy Bell. Burt Bly Levin. Hall of Famer. There's another mark where they're supposed to cut. Some of them get way worse. Like there will be like a third of the next card on top of the other one. He's a guy that when we talk about players who had better careers than most people gave him credit for. Greg Nels is one of those guys. Goose A lot of these pictures seem to be taken at Old Comiskey and Wrigley Field. <laughs> Dennis Walling, not Denny Walling. That feels weird. Another Yaz. Is that the same as the other Yaz? No, that's another thing with 81 Donruss was some of their cards, they would do variants. And like I know I have a Reggie Jackson 81 Donruss that's different from ones I've seen online. So that's another thing to look for. Interesting. Oops, sorry, Salviando. Oh my goodness. I'm not doing this on purpose. We didn't glue these ahead of time. You know, I think the card should be worth more if it has gum stuck to it. Yeah, that we'll you just can't leave the gum off. stuck to it. I, I feel guilty. I don't want to rip these cards up. Jack Morris, young Jack Morris, Hall of Famer though. So you can see, well, you you can't really see, but there's a lot of wax build up on that first one there. Tommy John, Mr. Surgery. Steve Garvey. He had an interesting post-career career. Jeff Reardon without the big beard he was famous for. Ferguson Jenkins. Nice. Dave Parker in his heyday. The end of his heyday with the Pirates. Eckersley with the Red Sox. Jeff Burns. And we'll leave the cards side with the gum. As always, I like to do it by corner. A little more organization than Jason's willy-nilly crazy stuff. I stand by my methods. As you should. I mean, you're wrong, but you should stand by it. Joe, Joe Simpson. Simpson. Current Braves broadcaster. And current cr curmudgeon. I can never say that word right. Oops, missed one. <laughs> what a great name for a pitcher. <laughs> Gary Templeton. That was pre Ozzy Smith trade. It was. That's when you, yeah, because he was still with the Cardinals. We'll put that one on. You can win the Gary Templeton. He was, he was a heck of a player back in his day. There's the gum card. Another 81 Donos factoid is there was an episode of Who's the Ball? in the 80s where Tony wanted to get his baseball card but he couldn't find it. I remember that episode. And Angela bought him one and when they showed it up close it was clearly a 1981 Donruss design. That's amazing. J.R. Richard. He's another guy. If you... <laughs> I have all these Anchorman lines running through my mind right now. But I'll spare you. Mickey Klutz. That's not exactly the greatest name. Pete Vukovic. As a hitter, Dusty Baker. That was just foreshadowing his role in Major League. Yeah, as Clue Haywood. I'm a little disappointed we haven't found an error card yet. Because in, in my mind, 81 Donruss was all about those. There you go. Ricky That's a Henderson. solid card right there. That centering is about the best I've seen. Lou Pinella as a player. Young Bob Horner. All right, that was the first stack. <coughs> Let's go to bottom left. Bob Forsh. I also notice these cards don't need to be flipped. Uh, yes, I like that. Another Rod Carew. Bill 
Billy Martin. Not Whitney Houston's Bobby Brown. My car grew the human rain delay. They called him. He took too much time. Tommy or look at that. Look at that hair. Look at that hair. Don Sutton, Hall of Famer. Speaking of hair. Yes. Joe Morgan with the Astros. This yeah, not the Mark Fidrich. I'm very disappointed that that is the gum card. The bird. I love Mark Fidrich. I love reading about Mark Fidrich. Put it in the stack, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll put it aside so the gum doesn't mess up the Joe Morgan Hall good, of Fame card. Good call. I'm so disappointed that one's got... Oh, maybe it was better that it's got the gum on it. I don't know. I think it should be, especially if yeah. it's old and the gum doesn't come off. Yeah. Because I would imagine there are a lot fewer card, good cards with gum on them than good cards without gum on them. Mike Schmidt. You can see the, the cut mark again. Yeah. Checklist. Of course, the checklist is centered pretty well. George Brett. I got to tell you, man, I'm, I'm having so much fun looking through these. Yeah, this set it, it back Gary back Carter. Hall of Famers. This set is stacked with Hall of Famers. No kidding. Rick Monday, the flag saver. Look at these. White Sox uniforms. It's just so great. It was better when they wore the shorts. And by great, I mean awful. But, you know, poachy. I think this is my favorite box we've opened. Already, and we're through like a third of it. Oscar Gamble. Chandless. He's a guy who should be in the Hall of Fame. He's he impacted the way that I vote for the Hall of Fame because the first time he was on the ballot, he didn't receive the necessary five percent because it was a stacked class. He fell off the ba baseball writers ballot, nearly made it two years ago um, in one of the veterans committees. He deserves to be there as catcher, so we're gonna put him there. But because he didn't get the five percent, the last couple years I've voted. Even though I don't think Johan Santana necessarily was a Hall of Famer, I think he deserved to be on more than one year. So I voted for Santana. I was one of, I think, nine people that did, and he didn't make it. But I stand by my reasoning. I still think it was right. Reggie Jackson. Freddie Lynn. Joel Young. Jay Johnstone. I read his book. I forget what it was called, but he was quite the, the character, a comedian baseball player. He was also the leadoff batter in the Naked Gun baseball game as a member of the Mariners. Which you, you know a lot about. You can read all about that story. Google Sporting News Naked Gun baseball game. Nolan Ryan. Phenomenal card. Dwayne Kuyper. Manny Moda. Bobby Gritch, another could have been Hall of Famer. You can even see what it does to the pack, the wax pack the gum rubs off on. That's not good. I'm seriously going to wash my hands after this, touching that gum. I'm a little nervous. Yogi Berra. And speaking of the gum, I watched a guy open a wax pack from 1952 Tops, and their gum, even in 1952, they put the gum inside a little wrapper of paper to protect it from the cards. That's smart. Probably cost too much money and they stopped doing it. Peter Edward Rose. That was his middle name, right? Mm-hmm. Frank White, White, one of the best Royals in Kansas City Royals history. Heck of a player. Mm, that is Raleigh Fingers. 
It's got some nasty wax marks on it, as you can kind of see there. Tom Seaver, Hall of Famer. <laughs> Look at Tony LaRussa. Oh, Tony, so young. We'll put that there. Ozzy Smith. Now, the centering on this is awful. You, know, you can see the mark down there where they're supposed to cut. Um, People will still want that, though. Oh, yeah. And the, the best version of the Padres uniforms. And maybe people don't want that and I should just keep it myself, right? No. We'll see. I'm just kidding. I'm still disappointed. You know, not really disappointed, but I'm surprised that we have not seen an error card because, like I said... You were more excited about that than anything well, else for this Well, I feel like box. whenever I bought a pack of 81 Donuts at any point in my life, I got at least some kind of error card in every pack. How many packs of 81 Donuts have you ever bought? I don't know, maybe 10 or 12. I'm pretty sure this is the first one I've ever opened. I mean, I haven't done Buck it since, since the late 80s. Go see... Baker McBride. Jim Palmer, Hall of Famer. He doesn't even know it. True. Sorry. No. That was a solid effort. Yeah. White and blue. Great leg kick on Baylor. Bob Walk, not a good name for a pitcher. Really Stargell, which is great, except for... But that's the second Stargell. It was a variant, the first one. He yeah, had there's the been a couple of them. So we'll put that with the Mark Fidrich. Great card. Gum card. How is this set not more popular? I don't know. I've, I'm... I'm, I, this, is, this is as much fun as I had opening the box. Now, now granted, I haven't been super into cards uh, in a while. I've gotten back into them lately. Ooh. He had a line. He had a line. He still has a line. <laughs> we'll put that in there, just because. But I don't know what the overall reputation of the 81 Donruss set is with collectors, like diehard collectors, but maybe it I'm falls sure. into the, they made too many of them, or there wasn't any super, super rare card, but this seems like a, a pretty cool set. This was not one of the best pictures. No. Out of focus. Bucky Dent. They didn't put his middle name there. That's true. It was a family set. Yes. Another, see, that's another version of the Tom Seaver. Yeah. I like that. Lee Mazzilli in the 1979 All-Star Game had an epic bat flip of a walk. <laughs> if, you, if, you can, if you can find it on, on YouTube, look it up. It's pretty sweet. It looks even better in slow motion. You got to respect the bat flip on the walk. John Tudor. <laughs> so young. Dale Murphy. Dale Murphy. That's a nice card. That is a heck of a card. It's a little bit uh, at the top. You can see a little bit of fraying where it yeah, made a little, a little bit off left to right, but it's still cool. <laughs> looks like John looks like he's not having a good day. Kind of hunched over, bundled up. Steve Stone. That was a year after his Cy Young year. Bobby Cox. In, in his first go round with the Braves. The, the gum card. We'll put that over there since he's a Hall of Famer. All right, that was the end of the second column. Let's go to the third corner. And as we point out every episode that we can, this box was uh, certified authentic by Baseball Card Exchange, so we know it's not been tampered with. The Tommy Her hair again. Gotta love it. Don Sutton. I think we've had this card this pack before. Yeah. And here's the Mark Fedrich that doesn't have the gum on the back. 
Excellent. It's its own variant. <laughs> the non-gum variant. George Brett. And for a front pack, very little wax build up. I think that's the second time we've got Brett and Gary Carter yeah. back to back. Quick story, Elias Sosa, he, um, he used to go to my church and uh, he also gave up the second of Reggie Jackson's three homers in game six of the 77 World Series. Probably the least famous of the true, the three. Rod Crew, Hall of Famer with gum. Steve Carlton. Ooh, this is like a subset. Cy Young winner with the wax all over it. Look at that. That's nasty. Earl Weaver. Put that there. No relation to the guy in Rocky. Carrie Matthews with Braves. That's the first set we've gotten with the had to flip over. Yeah, exactly. Another Bobby Bonds with the Cardinals. We'll put that there. Schmidt. So who are the rookies in this set? I think Tim Raines. That's who we're looking for? I think so. Um, I know it exists because I have it. Oh, well, that's a good reason. There you go. There's an A's with yeah. the Yankees. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. There, there are at least several of those. Mookie yeah. Wilson. And another one right there. Oh, yeah. Probably this is the air pack. By the way, the Tim Raines card looks almost exactly like that Bob Pate. Literally almost the same shot. Nice. They <laughs> probably had them just lined up there. Yeah. Oh, here's flipping around the other way. So you have Joe Rudy with the gun on front. That's a variant. That's a variant. Not a great variant, but a variant. Did we even have the word variant back then? No. So I think that's a new thing. Applying to old cards, gotta love it. Ooh, here's an Keith Hernandez with the Cardinals. So put that there. Some of the photos with the 81 Donner set were not really in focus either. Yes, I've noticed that. Mike Scott with the Mets. Wow. That's cool. wow. We'll put that there. Why not? Jim Kern, the first Amish person ever to make the majors. <laughs> I'm kidding. I do remember opening some packs of these where the sequencing and a couple packs seem the same, and I think we've gotten a couple of those. We yeah. have. Here's a Griffey. Not the Griffey we're looking for. This one, whole, the whole pack is flipped around. Huh. I don't even know who that is. Who is that? Uh, I don't know. Enrique Romo with the gun on front. I think we've gotten this pack already. Yeah, at least a couple of these. Yeah, because remember when the yeah, Jeff Leonard and the Astros. Clint Hurdle, yeah, there's Yastrzemski. I'll put the Griffey there. 
Great player, famous son. That's worth a pile. Yeah. Another Joe Morgan. Another Mark Fidrich. I feel that, that's good now because I'd have felt guilty the only Mark Fidrich was the gum one. Yeah. Now you get a couple of them. Whoever wins. There's a Reds Cubs. Yep. Air card. Next, we just got to find a really weirdly cut one. Yes. Which we haven't. It's like the fourth Duffy Dyer I think we've gotten. This is a big deal in 81. I don't think so. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Another Gino Garber. That's a different Steve Garvey. Yeah. There's one way off. Ferguson Jenkins. That's pretty far off. Yeah, but I'm talking like one where like the other card that was on the sheet is intruding. Oh, really? Yeah, there are s several like that. That's a good Eckersley. Go back to the Buddy Bell. You know who he looks like in the face right there? No. One of the kids from the Bad News Bears. <laughs> I can't remember which character. Uh, not Tanner. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I'll see on the box it says extra cards of star players. So that's the Estrumskis and the Darbys, the doubles. I like that. Man, that's nasty. You can't see it, but it's all bent up up there. Steve Carlton. <coughs> Pop Stargell. Again with the great hat. Eddie Murray. Joe Charbonneau with the gum. <coughs> Excuse me. This is all the gum dust getting in your lungs. I know. I'm seriously a little bit worried. All right, last corner. Come on, Tim Raines. He's had 18 cards per pack, which is pretty good. Yeah. Jerry Kuzman. Another Ozzy Smith. Still a little bit off, but not quite as bad as that last one. Danny Ainge. You gotta love that. Yes. Bruce Souter mislabeled. Well, maybe just foreshadowing. Perhaps, but, but hall, without the beard, a Hall of Famer with the Al Roboski. the Mad Hungarian. He, I saw him playing golf one time. I worked at a golf course in St. Louis, outside of St. Louis, um, one summer during college, and he was in the group playing through when I was trying to break the bunker. <laughs> Cy Young, well, like you said, year after Cy Young. Dave Steve, underrated pitcher. You put him there. Another mislabel. Back to back mislabels. There you go. Apparently, they wanted everyone to play for the Angels. Yeah. Another Willie really started. That's it. Is that the third star or the second? It might be. It's at least the second. It might be. Well, the it's third. definitely. We've definitely had two before. I've never seen that card. That's a couple of nice cards right back, back to back to back. Yeah. All right. Quick story. I'm only in one fantasy baseball league. It's named after Mark Littell. It's the the Littell League. It's a bunch of people back in St. Louis. Um, we actually have the auction coming up here shortly. It's not an homage to the '76 ALCS. It is not that I know of. So I'm going to take that out. You guys know what the Mark will tell. I'm going to take that one out myself. The only card I'm taking out of this thing for myself. The rest of them you can win. 
Unless you really want it, and then I'll include it. Go Madlock. Dan Quisenberry. He is um, writer Joe Posnanski's favorite Hall of Fame case. We'll put him there. Andre Dawson. I can't help but think of it's Rex Manning Day from... What's the name of that movie? Empire Records. There we go. Johnny Bench. Larry Boa. Luis Tiant. With the gum. We'll put that one there. All right, Donna. What? Six packs left. That should be our, our takeaway question from this box. Is should cars be more viable with gum? I think so. I think we should write a story. Bill Nico. His birthday was yesterday. He turned 80. Leon Durham. He turned 80. Wow. I guess he didn't retire until he was like 73. So I mean, like <laughs> 48, but yeah, yeah. close. Who's Gossage? George Brett MVP with the gum and a ding already. The wax is strong in this one. And you can see that I think the wax even took some of the color out of that card. There's your Daryl Porter. Yep. They got their Missouri teams mixed up. We'll put that in there for you. Man. Imagine having to spell his name every night. End of the game story. <laughs> Rick Sutcliffe. Doesn't even look like him. There's a White Sox A's. We'll go back through and we'll pull out all these for you. I haven't been separating, but we'll go ahead and do that. That way you can have the look at that that card. Yeah, that's how it came out. That is not ideal. There's another air right after it. Cliff Johnson, yeah. Reggie Jackson. It's actually pretty good centering. Yeah. Hall of Famer Jim Rice with the gum. I definitely think we should start a thing where it's more viable if there's gum stuck to the back. Can we do that? Let's just, it's done. We'll just say that it is? Yeah. You know, I will say this. I have not seen many checklists. I think that's, this is one of like the third one. Don knew what they were doing yeah. when they started out. Wayne Garland, who had the first massive long-term free agent contract that did not work out well for the Indians. Silent George. Joe Torrey is the Mets manager. Dave McKay, longtime base coach. Look at that hair. That's fantastic. All right. You think we're going to get the Tim Raines in one of the last three packs here? I'm going to say yes, right there. Oh, look at that. I was going to call it, but I asked you. Dang it. I should have just stuck with my gut. Look at that. There's some wax build up, as you can see. But. See, it was clearly Expo's photo day at Wrigley Field. It was, yes. I had the honor of voting for him in his final year on the ballot. It was my first year as a Hall of Fame voter. I was very happy to be able to uh, cast a vote that helped get him into Cooperstown. Well deserved. Hall of Famer Gaylord Perry. <coughs> Jim Cott. I have to say I'm sad that there's only two packs left. This has been a lot of fun. Can we order another? We I was going to say. We'll do a second show of the 1981 Donners. Yeah, this is, uh, this is easily my favorite box so far. Jim Palmer.
See, you should be proud of me. I, I, I held off saying there's trouble afoot. Okay, yes. Well, but now you told us and that ruins it. Yes, but at least I'm telling you that I'm aware that it's bad. Does that make it True. any better? Yeah. Probably not. That's a mustache right there. <laughs> Some of these pictures look like guys who showed up at fantasy camp and just got the picture taken. <laughs> and some of the photographs look like they're fans who just said, turn around from the stands. And they <laughs> turned around and Donner didn't apply for press credentials that year. They just right. shot it with <laughs> Bill Lee. Spaceman. Spaceman. One of my favorite interviews I've ever done. He came through a first pitch out for a Charlotte Knights game. It was pretty great. It was it was so good that I didn't even write a story. I just wrote it as a and a because I didn't want to take it away anything from the way that Bill Lee talked. Ken Forrest, brother of Bob. The only brothers, no no hitter. Correct? Uh, I think so. I think so, yeah. Pete Rose, way off center. Nick down there. Frayed up there. But still Pete Rose. Marhoy with the gum. That was a lot of fun. Let's buy another one. All right, Ryan, this was a great box. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of fun watching you open this 1981 Donruss box, which is a highly underrated set, I've just decided right yes. now. The cards look great. There's a ton of Hall of Famers in there, including our most notable pull, the Tim Raines rookie card. And in addition to the Tim Raines rookie card, we got a lot of other Hall of Famers and All-Stars of the day. And some of those guys, like this George Brett, still have the gum stuck to it. Joe Charbonneau, Super Joe, still has the gum stuck to it. We have a lot more of those, too, and we're trying to make it a thing because I'm pretty convinced that if it has gum stuck to it and you can't get the gum off, the card should be worth yeah. more, not less. So let's make that a thing. Come up with a hashtag or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, we want to give all the good ones away to you as usual. So how are we going to do that, Jason? Glad you asked, Ryan. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment in the, in the comments the word rock. Tim Raines' nickname. True. That's all you got to do. You can also follow us on Twitter if you want. It's not required, but we would like it. You can see our handles here. So until next time, I'm Jason. I'm Ryan. Thanks for watching Opening Day. Opening Day.